encouraging a love of stories, reading with your children, tips and strategies for parents to help make the most of reading with your children by Clara Fiorentine. Hi everyone, my name is Clara and I'm a lecturer in literacy and early childhood education in Marino Institute of Education in Dublin. Uh, books are a big part of my life. I taught for 11 years from junior infants right up to sixth class and I know how challenging it can be sometimes to motivate children to read and to encourage that love of the experience of reading. As a mother myself, I know how important it is to instill that love of reading in children from a very young age and to promote reading at home. I've put together 10 little strategies that you can try at home to try and encourage your children to love reading at home. As parents, we know that children often copy what we do ourselves. We model certain behaviours in the hope the children will pick them up. The same goes for reading. Letting the children see you reading is a really simple way of showing them that reading is enjoyable and important. Invite them to join you, get cosy and read together. Show them how great it is to pause life and get lost in the story. It's important that children associate reading with positivity and comfort. Creating cosy spaces or little book nooks within the home are a great way to invite your children to read. Let them choose and let it be part of daily life. Reading at home should be relaxing and pressure free. A cosy space is often the only encouragement your child needs. Reading at home doesn't have to look formal. It shouldn't. Invite your child to bring books around the home. It's important that children know that they have the freedom to enjoy a story anywhere and to be proud to bring a book and read wherever they feel comfortable. Reading doesn't have to happen on a chair. Reading can happen anywhere. Encourage your child to read more by finding and providing opportunities. You don't need libraries and bookcases in every room. A little basket of books here and there works even better. And don't forget to change them up every so often. This way you're offering your child opportunities for reading throughout the home. Options are important. Any reading is good reading and reading can take the form of magazines, cookery books, joke books, riddles, poetry and fact books. There's something for everyone. If your child enjoyed a story about a certain animal, then use your local library to find fact books to learn more. One of the best ways to get your child reading is to use their interests. Take for example a child who loves playing Minecraft. Want to get them off the screen and into books? Then look out for Minecraft books and magazines. From this an interest in other gaming or coding texts can develop. Plant a seed and use those interests to your advantage. When we associate an experience with laughter or humour, it develops a positive association and makes us want to do it again, especially when it comes to funny stories and books. Embrace the silly and have a laugh together. Humorous texts are usually really well written with lots of clever wordplay. Does your child want to read the same book again? Good, encourage that. Be it a picture book or the Harry Potter series, Rereading is important for children of all ages because it develops and practices a whole range of important skills for your child's reading development. It's such a pity to read a story only once. Sometimes we only uncover the magic on a second or third reading. Rereading a text is a very comforting experience for a child. Is your child reluctant to read or disinterested in novels? Well, what about picture books? They're not just for babies. There are a whole range of incredible picture books for older children and teens, packed with powerful illustrations and epic storytelling. Picture books are for everyone. The most important thing in developing a love of stories and books is time. Children need time to read, time to enjoy, time to share, and time to learn to love stories. It doesn't happen overnight. Read, read and read some more. A book is magic for all to explore. Once you begin, you soon will find that books are never a waste of time. I hope you found that useful and that you can use some of these strategies to help your child enjoy reading more at home. For more, you can find me on littlemissteacher.com, on Instagram, Twitter and on the YouTube channel, The Literacy Channel, which I share with my colleague, Jennifer O'Sullivan. On The Literacy Channel, you can find lots of other ideas and strategies to try out to work on literacy with your child at home.